Welcome to WCSN's continuing coverage of ASU Gymnastics. I'm Noah Weinberg here with the beautiful Miss Amar Gubor. Let's get started. What missteps did the Gym Devils take that led to their demise against the Cardinal last meet? Well, right off the bat, they lost a lot of points because they didn't have a 10.0 start value on vault for all their girls. They had to take four Yurchenko layouts, which starts at around 9.8, opposed to Stanford, who posted really strong 10.0 start value vaults, and they just weren't able to pick it back up the rest of the meet. Now with the injuries to Carissa Krause and Kelly Wanamacher, what does Coach List need to do to, or who should Coach List count on to carry the team? Well, I definitely think she's going to be able to count on her two all-arounders, Stephanie Maselli and Ali Salas, who have been very consistent, posting good scores and being consistent, as well as I'm seeing a lot of good stuff from Becca Conrad. Last meet versus Stanford, she did a beautiful beam routine, nailed all her jumps, and stuck her dismount, so hopefully she can carry the team as well. Now, the ne five out of the next six opponents for ASU are against ranked teams, especially the next one coming up against number four, Utah. What do the Sun Devils need to do to be able to compete with these national powerhouses? Well, the problem is that they're not able to compete. They have the skill level, they have the start values, mostly everywhere, but they just need to work on cleaning it up and sticking those land needs. They saw a lot of wobbles on the beam, on jump series, full turns, little things that can easily be fixed with practice. Well, you heard it here. Make sure to check out the Pac-12 digital stream of ASU Gymnastics on February 20th. I'm Noah Weinberg, and this is Amar Gubor. Thank you.